Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the Linux distribution called Regolith. Now what this is, as you can see right here, it is built on top of Ubuntu, GNOME, and i3. Uh, essentially what it is is a custom i3 config, kinda? Because there's actually two different ways to get this. If I go over here to download, you see that there's a traditional ISO, so this is by itself in a distribution. Or you could get this as a PPA if you're already using Ubuntu, you could just go ahead and install it right over your current Ubuntu install. Now for this video, I already went ahead and installed the iOS file, and here it is. The only thing I did was run through the installer. When you do boot up, it has the options just like it would with Ubuntu to either try or install it. I just installed it. Initially it did have a little uh, dialogue right here, I think it was Conky or something, giving you the, uh, the hotkeys for all your different functions and window movements and all that stuff within i3, but I can't get it to come back up, I tried to do that real quick, but oh well. But like you'd expect, the Windows key and enter is to open a terminal, do this a couple times and it will keep opening. I could go ahead and switch this with a command T, this will switch the layout and then I go into tabbed and back to what I was doing. So that's the initial layout options anyways. Uh, if I go ahead and let's uh, go and do NeoFetch so we can see what is going on, we can see that this is running Ubuntu 20.04 LTS out of the gate. Using the bash shell i3, the DE is technically Regolith, and the default terminal is the GNOME terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of here real quick. One thing about this distribution is the actual configuration is different because I went ahead, I tried to go ahead and open the terminal. If I type nano, and I go to where I would expect the i3 configuration to be. So if I go config, i3, and config, this is where it's supposed to be. You do that, the file does not exist. So if you're coming directly from i3 or you're expecting to use it as if it is, you might run into issues. In the documents, it says there's supposed to be a X resources file within this folder here. So this is what I'm using on their documents. And if I go down here to key bindings, it says, uh, to change the default super binding from Windows to Alt, go to the config regolith x resources. And if I, it says if I do the super key and C, this will bring up our settings. So here is where we can change our background. So let's say we wanted that. We have everything else here too. So we have mouse, uh, printers, keyboard shortcuts. Maybe this is where we do it. Maybe the things are just out of date. So universal access, home folder. So yeah, this isn't the uh, the key bindings here. Let's go ahead and see what applications are on the system. So if we hit Windows key and spacebar, you have all your different applications. So uh, we have Compton, document viewer, files, which that's just standard GNOME files, Firefox, fonts, htop, uh, live patch, input methods, uh, we have logout, we have some software center stuff, system monitor, terminal text, time and day, user groups, vim is installed. This right here is the application that's supposed to show the uh, shortcuts over here that isn't displaying for some reason. Hit enter, it just doesn't come up. But this is weird, under their documentation it says looks. So colors, wallpapers, windows, bar layouts, and other factors are bundled together in what's called looks. Looks provide a simple way to change the entire look of the desktop with a few commands. Uh, so it looks like each look is an individual package. So I jumped over here and we can see that it does. I did the app search regolith look. Uh, it says sorting and we have a couple different options. So these are the themes. So let's just install one. Let's go with this, uh, this Dracula one right here. So I'm gonna copy that and let's go sudo apt install and then that package, type in our password, yes. Now it says we need to run the command regolith set or regolith-look set, I think. And then the name of the theme we just downloaded. So let's hit enter, created, oh, there it is. So created the home brand and X resources regolith pointing to Dracula. And now if we refresh that, so, it should just be refresh. Okay, so yeah, there was some visual changes. If I go ahead and open it up, we have green. This is different color. So if we go to workspace two, these are gray now. So that's how you change the theming in this um, custom i3 distribution here. So let's, ju let's jump into the thing we just created to see if that's how we go about changing the look of this. So this is the file that created. So if I copy that and I just nano into it, let's see what we get here. Okay, so that's just linking it. 
Okay, so I think I figured out where that i3 configuration file is. It's under our, so we need to go other locations, computer. It's in the etc folder under regolith right here. Okay, so here we are. We have the i3, i3 rock styles. So if I open up i3, this is our config right here. Select this, move this over. All right, we found the i3 configuration file. That is good. It's really interesting how they do the uh, theming when packages, but it is good that you can actually set all your workspaces up and go through here and make sure you have everything specifically how you wanted. I was really worried about that. If it didn't have an actual i3 configuration option, that would have been a big no-go. Uh, they don't really, if you're a completely new user and you've never used i3, this might be okay because you're learning it. But then again, if you're going and switching over to a new i3 distribution, it might be a little bit confusing to go back and forth in between something like this and any other distribution that happens to run i3. But going down, we have ses session management, system management, workspace management. So you have all your different configs and settings here. This is your windows resizing and gaps. So for example, if I wanted to go ahead and uh, Oh, this is read only. So I'd have to open this as sudo. So that's something that's a little bit different too. If it's in your home directory, you don't have to open it up or edit it as a super user. And it, if it's in the etc folder, I will. So I'm actually not gonna do any edits to this right now. Let's go ahead and close all this out. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and jump over back to our web browser. So here we are. This is in their documentation under customized. Um, we have all the different things here. We have uh, compositors the key bindings and windows behavior. So you do have a guide to go ahead and use everything here. So styles, this will have the different styles. You could have the loading order. You can reload X resources. There, There is documentation to learn it, but especially me trying to learn i3, jumping into this was not the easiest thing to do. And it, definitely if there was not this documentation, I would not have figured any of this out to save my life. If we go under, there's a little how-to section. So the uh, there's a user guide. So they do have general tutorials so you can learn how to do just about everything. Uh, if you're running Ubuntu and you do like how this looks, like I said, you could just install this with a standard PPA package. So it might be something you're interested in. Definitely when it comes to Linux distributions with i3, I do believe there are better options, but this is still kind of cool how they have this set up regardless. It was definitely something worth checking out. I'll probably go through and kind of get some of the color scheming because especially the default look of it, I do enjoy how they have the colors and everything. But will I be using this? Nah, it's just not for me at the moment. I'm not saying it's a bad distribution, but not having the i3 configuration file just in your home directory is kind of a downer for me. With that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy how this is set up, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video if you did. Subscribe and ring that bell for more Linux content just like this. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.